Well, uh, hi everybody, afternoon. I'm up here on the, the hills up above um, Lauder, the Lauder de Amours. Pretty bleak and barren. I'll give you a quick look around. I'll try and cover up the microphone so you don't get too much blow and noise. just want to very quickly talk about something that really does bug me. You've heard me go on about this before with the Sower murders. That was eventually busted by the fact that uh, Maxine Carr in an interview referred to Jessica Wells and Holly Chapman in the past tense and that was immediately picked up on by the uh, respective journalists and that led to the uh, the case being solved it really does annoy me that uh, there hasn't been similar developments with regard to uh, Mike Holbuck's comment referring to uh, the grieving process clearly he knows something's wrong so whenever people say to me well surely the Holbuck's want want the truth want to know what what really happened my question would be well does mike does mike holbrook want to know what happened mm, i wonder in fact for me the holbacks seem to be in the same position as uh, barb with brendan and bobby bobby clearly knows something bobby clearly lied on the stand to get steve put away um, and quite rightly it was pointed out in that phone call between Steve and Scott Barb the accusation of, of Barb was that you're putting, you're putting one son and his family before your other son so my question to the Holbacks would be do they want justice well as I say I'm not sure that they do because of uh, Mike's knowledge of the case and his involvement. I think at some point in the future, Kathleen Zellner is going to find out exactly what Mike and Ryan were up to and uh, what uh, what involvement he's got in it. As I say, a lot of people say you have to be very sympathetic towards the Holbacks. Um, some people say that the state are hiding behind. They like to wrap themselves up in the Holbacks. Yes, I agree. But I think it's a two-way thing. I think the Holbacks are quite happy for the state to protect them. Because the when Making a Murderer first came out, when Brad Schimmel was being interviewed for TV, they asked him if Steve would go on trial again. And he said that he'd phoned the, um, the Holbacks to assure them that if need be, the state were prepared to put Steve and Avery on trial again. Well, that was, that was very big of them back in 2016. I'm not too sure if they're, they've got quite the stomach for it this time round, but with all the evidence that Kathleen Zellner has developed. There again, that, uh, I read a, an article about Kathleen Zellner and Judge Sukovic and the fact that uh, even if they uh, even if a video was produced of everybody who was involved in framing Steve at a video showing them plotting she would still favour the, uh, the state and uh, the prosecution she's just one of those judges that for her, the, the state, the prosecutors they can't do anything wrong. I think we've discussed this before about how the the judges start to overlook what uh, discrepancies the uh, prosecution has done. So clearly, we need a we need a, a, a an, an impartial judge, somebody that's actually going to do the job properly. At the moment, the uh, the state of uh, 
They've st they were, with, with <laughs> the game is still being played on their pitch with their with their ball and with their referee. Um, hopefully, eventually, sooner rather than eventually. Court of Appeals will all come down in favour of this evidentiary hearing. It's not the... For me, it's not, not so much where, where are the bones Teresa's? Are they, are they Teresa or are they not? It's just the fact that against Wisconsin law, their own law, they, are, they have to inform Stephen Avery and his attorneys that they are turn in the bones and obviously Stephen Avery no way would he give permission for that to happen having been exonerated the first time by a, a single hair anyway I've kept you long enough for today um, I, I hear that one or two of you like the Dave Pogotka style videos I, I think uh, I really like his style as well so uh, if I go anywhere else interesting and remote and blowy and windy then uh, maybe get to do another one until then, bye for now.